started. Dogzilla. Oh, wow. Okay, Dogzilla starts off with uh, E4. Let's try a Sicilian. I haven't played one myself. Always oh, going to go for the. Uh, I'm going to decline the Smith Mora. Show how you can play the Smith Mora declined. <laughs> it's too dangerous to play against a good player or even an over the board game. So this should be okay, though. This is um, a line of the Alapin Sicilian that's supposed to be okay for black. Uh, white has more space here, so sometimes this can be a bit tricky. But it's the usual kind of... Um, hmm, I wonder if I want to take. They don't usually take that pawn. If I take, is the queen going to be a target? Bishop there, bishop there. I don't see it. I want to keep my pawns together. And um, I want to develop the light squared bishop outside the pawn chain. He can jump into uh, b4 there and probably will at some point. B5. Maybe I should stop that with A6. But it seems harmless. Let's not waste a move on A6. If he plays Knight B5, I'm playing Queen D7. Otherwise, I'm developing this bishop and castling. Auxilla, that's higher rated than most of my opponents. I'll see if he comes up with some uh, brilliant tactic at some point. Something I completely overlook, which of course can happen at any point. He still doesn't have bishop to um, f4. He has knight here the queen. He didn't play it. Knight, see, knight here hitting the queen. Knight takes. Then he takes the bishop. Knight takes. Queen takes. <clears throat> What's that? That's just a trade of that knight and that bishop for this knight and this bishop. It's just two pieces for two pieces. So knight here, knight takes. If he takes the knight, then I have time to take the bishop. So I guess I'm still okay. Yeah, his knight might be hanging too if this bishop gets distracted, but not immediately. Okay, so let's castle. Maybe I'll kick the knight with a6 next. Okay, so he did go for that. So I think I have to play knight takes because my queen is hanging. Now, if he takes the bishop, I take with this knight, and that, that saves material. So he takes the knight. Now, I can save the bishop, or I can trade it. Let's trade. That'll get his queen off of this file, and then kick, kick the knight. So what have we got here? He's got a dark-squared bishop, and I have a dark-squared bishop. He has more space, but in theory, this is the better bishop. It's got a little more scope than his bishop. And uh, if he played his knight in here, I could just trade it off and win a pawn. So he doesn't want that. So I can grab the C file. So I think nothing awful has happened so far. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> there could be lurking seeds of destruction somewhere here. Let's see, if I try to develop the bishop a little more actively with bishop to c5. The knight can't go to f4 because his bishop's covering that. So this knight's not really going anywhere, so it's just going to sit there for a while. Bishop c5. Maybe there's a threat to trade off this knight and then develop a rook to the 7th rank. That would be good for me if I get a rook to the 7th. Tactics on this position might involve this um, e6 pawn, if he can undermine it. Leave me with a weak knight here. Okay, he just goes there with the with the rook, with the knight. Let's 
Maybe, okay, so his knight can hop into g4. That's true, so let's keep it out of there. And I'm going to drop the bishop back here. Do I want to go to... Um, well, if I go to b6, it blocks the pawn. If I go to a6, I can't route it back to this diagonal, but I'm hoping or guessing that I won't need it there. Hmm. <clears throat> and from b8, I hit the pawn. Okay, so he's gone after the knight now, trying to take advantage of this pin. Can I get the queen to a better square? Let's trade one pair of rooks and see how he takes back with the bishop. Yeah, so he maintains this pin on the knight. How can he exploit that? He can't attack it with this knight. Can't go after it with the bishop. Get this rook over here and then unpin afterwards. So queen uh, e7 is what I'm thinking is the next move to unpin the knight. And then bishop to b8 to put a little pressure on this pawn, which is securely defended at the moment, but maybe that's not so great. And, of course, he may have ideas of sacrificing on h6. Always something to look out for in this kind of position. Okay, he's probably going to be pushing the f-pawn forward then. So that's uh, an idea, f, f4, f5, again, undermining this um, c6-pawn. Well, he's momentarily uh, <clears throat> momentarily removed a defender of the uh, e pawn. So let's see if we can <laughs> annoy him a little bit. Just pile up on that guy. The knight could come to uh, g6 and put even more pressure on it. But he can play f4 at any time. That opens up the diagonal to his king, and that might be uh, dangerous. Might be. Okay, the knight's coming back to defend here. Also, maybe to jump into the um, c5 square at the right time. Now, oh, that also covers c5, so I don't have this check anymore. Okay, the queen's coming over here. That was a pin on the uh, g pawn to threaten the uh, h pawn. So before I grab here, I do have to take care of that. So let's go this way. I think it's safe over here. Now I'm actually threatening to take that pawn. So he defends it. Okay. So now his king is a bit exposed, but also my bishop is in an odd place. Check. So let's correct correct the location of the bishop first. And there's a check here with the queen. What does he do about that? He blocks with the rook. Hmm. Is there any weird sacrifice with the knight here? It's funny, that knight there is a pretty good defender, isn't it? Okay, check here, rook up. Maybe the queen goes somewhere after that. Here, here. Hmm, don't see it. It seems like there should be something here. Um, Check. I will throw that in. Maybe I can get pressure on the bishop. The queen to b1 
funny move. But the bishop has no moves, right? Uh, but he can bring the rook back to defend. Play bishop here. So if the queen just drops back to this square, the knight can't come here and attack my queen. And I, I can play bishop to um, bishop to e3, it looks like. Maybe he can push on with f4. Oh, he decides to trade queens. Let's see. I take, he takes with the rook. I come here with check. He blocks with the rook again. Is there anything good happening at the end of all this? Check here. Rook up. Takes. Takes. Bishop here. He has a lot of pawns on dark squares. It seems like uh, there ought to be something, but my, my knight will take a little bit of maneuver and get back in the game. Check. Let's see what he does. He does go for that. Okay, can I play bishop here now? He takes a rook. I, no, that's no good. Check. So... Excuse me. Bishop here, I guess. Server announcement. Actually, if he opposes the bishop... Oh, you know, that's not even... Um, that wasn't a good idea. It was not even uh, undefended. <laughs> okay, but he didn't want to go for exchanges anyway, so makes sense. Um, let's see. I guess I want to try and keep his knight out of this square. That's what I'm thinking. And then get my king and knight back in the game. So king g8, knight f8. Yeah, that's looking good. Okay, so he's hitting um, this pawn. Where is he going after that? Is he coming in here? His, his bishop is hanging. I mean, his pawn is hanging. And he can't come here to attack my pawn. And I'm going knight f8 to uh, e7. That's my plan. Then pawn to f6. Yeah, he just went back, so... Let's go here. Oh, he takes with the knight. Okay, now let's go here. Get this knight back in the game. And uh, he's getting his knight in there somehow. Oh, he's hitting my bishop. Let's not, not forget my pieces are hanging. Not forget when my pieces are hanging. Thinking uh, f6 is a move here. I'll try and trade off this uh, pawn here. Give my king a space. Somewhat cramped over here. Let's see, 240 to 420, so there's still time. Can he win with just the knights? Maybe. Do I have anything better than trading? I can only go here or back to here. I don't see anything better than trading. And that does free up my king to move. Okay, so. Um, this is defended, this is defended. Let's go over here, get in position to um, defend these guys. 
Yeah, it was a waste to move, wasn't it? I could have just pushed F6 immediately. Okay, he's keeping my knight from moving. He's got a check here. Let's take that pawn so it's a weakness I can play against. If he goes here with check, I go to e7. Okay, he's, he's defending that guy. Let's see, can I uh, work my king around? Let's see, if I go here and he attacks the pawn, I can't easily defend it. I have to go back. If I go here, let's just go one step forward then. Try and keep his king from penetrating. So I don't see how either side is going to win this game. I think maybe this is just a draw. But maybe he has uh, some way of taking advantage of these weaknesses. So I, I just am going to... His king can't really penetrate. And then what can his knight do? His knight is free to move, so that's his hope, is to find some maneuver with the knight. Uh, I'm not going to let him... I'm, I'm going to let him try for a while. It looks like he still wants to win. Okay, the king maybe is going to penetrate over here, this way. Let's see, the king can walk all the way over here. And attack my knight, isn't that interesting? And I can't attack his pawn. So, yeah, yeah, I've gotten myself in a bad position here. <clears throat> Let's see, what can I do about this? So I push the pawn forward, he just takes it, so... Um, Let's see, if I take here now, it's, it's knight takes, right? And I can't move my king any closer to this pawn. I can't stop his invasion. So, okay, well, let's watch his technique. Yeah. It's just going to run me out of moves. Pretty pretty amazing, really, to, to notice that, that winning idea in the endgame from so far away. Okay, so do I have any clever tricks here? I guess not. Where can this knight go? Here, I can go check. There, he takes it. There, he takes it. There, he takes it. There, he takes it. There. There's only one move. Kind of amazing. Okay, so he hits this pawn, which is momentarily defended, but um, that, that keeps my king tied down. Very annoying. So, once again, I have no moves. Ah, and I can attack his pawn. Check. Check. Yeah, so I wasn't losing a pawn that time. I'm just grabbing this pawn. There's still drawing ideas here. One pawn down. It's not so easy to win. And I'm also low on time, so we'll see. I had the black pieces. <laughs> if I can pull a draw off against a higher rated player. Ah, he, he can save that pawn. That's annoying. Okay, so check here, check back to there. It's always taking squares away from that knight.
check. Yeah, that, that loses. I'm just out of time. But it loses anyway. He takes the knight, and then uh, I can't uh, get back and stop the pawn. So I will resign. Black resigns. Good game. I will upload that and do a postmortem. See you guys later. Bye.